But in reality, Islamic people are way too far from the accusation birthed from the small portion of our people. It does not define us. Let us take a closer look to the history and culture of Islam. Islam began in 7th century when the Prophet Muhammad began receiving messages from God. The Islam religion was then taken up by many groups among the world. One of this group is the Marano tribe. A traditional ancestral house could the Torogan built by the Marano people of Lanao, Mindanao, Philippines for nobility. A Torogan was a symbol of high social status. Such a residence was once a home to Sultan or Datu in the Marano community. The rooms of these houses are designed with many intricate patterns with dedicated meaning as well as Arabic letters. Their symbol is the legendary bird Sarimanok. The Sarimanok is depicted as a fold with colorful wings and feathered tail. The Kulintang, an idiophone of metal gong kettles, which are laid horizontally upon a rock to create an entire Kulintang set. It is played by striking the bosses of the gongs with two wooden beaters. Another instrument is the agong which is a set of two wide rimmed Maranao Samabahao and Taosug people of the Philippines as a supportive instrument in Kolintang in The Kampilan is a type of single-edged sword used by chieftains and warriors for battle as a head-hunting sword. The use of swords in Maranao and Muslim culture was multifaceted in compassing practical, symbolic, and cultural aspects that reflected the historical context and values of the community. The Maranao culture is just one of the many Islamic groups which exist not just in the Philippines but in the whole world. They are not people fixated on chaos and violence but rather people with a wide variety of differing cultures, they are perceived wrongly and overlooking the beauty of their religion.